welcome back to my channel. My name is Iris. I talk about all things money and life, so subscribe to learn more. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything I did when I turned 18 to improve my personal finances. I am now 26 and I can tell you that everything I'm about to say works. And by 25, by doing all of these things, it helped me achieve a six-figure net worth. So if you're a teen or young adult looking to better your financial future, welcome to my channel. Credit card. As soon as I turned 18, I opened a credit card and I used it responsibly. Key word here is responsibly. Getting started building your credit as soon as you can is really important because length of credit factors into your score. So in simple, the longer your credit history is, the better. And having a good credit score will really help you out in the long run when you want to buy a house, finance a car, and even rent out an apartment. And experts suggest keeping your credit utilization rate around or under 30%. So for example, if you have a total credit line of $1,000, calculate 30% of that. So don't use any more than 300 of it. And what I mean by using it responsibly is paying it on time and in full every single month and never carrying a balance. A Roth IRA. This is an individual retirement account that is funded with post-tax dollars, but all the gains inside of it are tax-free. These are incredible tools for creating wealth. Within this account, you need to be using the money and investing it into assets like stocks, ETFs, index funds, whatever floats your boat. Do not make the common mistake of opening the account, contributing money, and just not investing. Otherwise, your money's just sitting there. Try your best to max this account out yearly, which at the time I'm filming this is $7,000 per year. Starting this as soon as you can is key because you have compound interest on your side. And if you don't believe me, watch this. If you invest just $500 each month until retirement at an annual interest rate of 8% per year, you will be left with that. And did I mention all the gains inside of a Roth IRA are tax-free? When I first opened my Roth IRA, I was 18, I was young, I was a full-time student making part-time minimum wage, so it was really hard for me to max this out. But now that I'm older, I wish I can just go back and force myself to max it out because now all I see are just lost time, money, and gains. Here are places where you can open a Roth IRA, but I personally use Fidelity. A brokerage account. A lot of people think that opening a brokerage is really hard to do, but it's actually as easy as opening up a TikTok account. You just take 10 minutes out of your time, go directly to the website and open an account. And what a brokerage is, it is a platform that will allow you to invest into stocks. What I do is I do all the tax advantage accounts first, and then whatever money I have remaining to invest goes into here. So what I'll do is I'll max out my Roth IRA, and then whatever I have left over goes into here because this account is not tax advantage, it's just a regular account. However, the money can move in and out of here very freely. I am an affiliate with Public and I do use them and I'll use the link to sign up with them down below. A high yield savings account. In the year 2024, if you're still using a regular savings account, you should be embarrassed. You should only be using a high yield savings account. High yield savings account functions exactly the same as a regular savings account, although they just offer you more money and interest for the money that you have parked there. And quite frankly, the easiest thing that anyone can do to get a little bit better with money. So like, why wouldn't you wanna maximize your savings for virtually no work? And if you don't believe me, this is how much money I've made completely passively last month, just for having my money sitting in one of these accounts. Now, it is very important to note that this does not replace investing, it's just a better place to park your money. So what I keep in my high yield savings account is I keep my fully funded emergency fund, which is six months of expenses and some other short term sinking funds that I'm saving for. So things like a house down payment fund, a wedding fund, things like that. And here are some places that offer high yield savings accounts. I personally use Discover and I have no issues with them. And if I can thank my 18 year old self for anything, it's getting financially literate. If everything I'm saying to you sounds like a foreign language, then it's time for you to start getting financially literate. And the way that I started to learn about money was through watching YouTube videos and reading books. Thanks to the internet, you have access to tons of free knowledge out there that there's really no more excuse not to even understand the basics. And I'll share with you here some of my top book recommendations. And you know what? I'll be the first one to say it. Reading finance books can kind of be boring. So a little tip to help you get through them easier is to utilize an audiobook instead. I find that listening to nonfiction books makes them a lot easier to get through and a little bit more digestible. A lot of us didn't come from wealth. I know I certainly did it. I'm a first generation American and my parents couldn't teach me any of this stuff. The good news is it doesn't have to stay that way. And with the era that you're living in now, it's super easy to get financially literate for free. And it really just takes discipline, consistency, and patience to change your financial outcomes. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you found any value in it, please hit the like button because it really supports my channel and I'll see you in the next one.